the hurricane a battered southeast United States could cost the United States economy as much as $290 billion. That's according to new estimates out from AccuWeather. Let's get some reaction, though, to the hurricane's cleanup costs for, from a trucking company's perspective. For that, we're joined from Madison, Texas, just outside of Dallas, is Don Dasky. He's the founder and chief executive officer of Dasky. Don, good to be with you today. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, perhaps you could put into perspective for us the impact that Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma are having on the trucking industry and the landscape. Well, thank you for inviting me to, to be on the call today. The, uh, the impact of trucking on the, the impact of the hurricane on the U.S. economy and especially people lives and homes is, is, is really widespread, obviously. The, uh, it, it will have an enormous impact on the movement of goods and services around the regions affected. Uh, approximately 80, 70 to 80 percent of everything in America moves by truck. And so with the devastation and repairs, uh, it's going to take quite a while to get our economy back in shape in the uh, south and in the southeast because of these storms. Don, what, what does that mean in terms of um, the the industry right now? We're looking at a trucking costs, the prices that are absolutely surging. Um, we've seen some government representatives to basically saying that the companies can't take advantage of that. Um, but there is, of course, a supply and demand situation going on. What 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 will you end up seeing in the industry? Well, part of the challenge is that there's a lot more things moving into these devastated regions than moving out. And so the uh, a lot of the trucking prices for trucks going in with supplies um, will be much higher because the, there's not loads coming back out of that region right now. Okay. And so there, we have more one-way hauls of, of supplies going in than goods coming out until the, the manufacturing facilities get reestablished in, uh, in southern Texas or in, or in Florida and affected areas. So the, it's, it's too early to say what the effect on rates are. Um, you know, you need a massive amount of things moved in to fix everything that's been damaged mm -hmm. and the and it'll take some time to sort that out and and obviously in that process you need to have gasoline you need to have uh, obstacles taken out of the road so the trucks can move into that area and that will all take take some time but america is resilient we've had these gigantic storms in the past um We'll figure it all out, and we'll get it rebuilt, and hopefully mm -hmm. uh, the rebuilding will make our homes and buildings even safer in the future than what they have been in the past. Don, give us a sense in terms of how disrupted the current logistics are. Um, you know, it's interesting when you say it, it's a one-way haul. There's not a lot coming out. There's a lot of supplies going in. Give us a sense in terms of how difficult it is currently uh, to get supplies in. Well, it's, it's, it's tough for me to give you a general answer on that. Uh, the, uh, um, there's enormous demand for trucks to take things into the devastated areas. Um, and the, uh, I just can't answer what the magnitude of that challenge is going to be. You know, we're, we, we, we see little pieces of it. We're in the flatbed open deck uh, specialized business and the primary category of things we move are building materials. Well, all the damage is really to building materials, whether it's lumber, steel, insulation, roofing, everything that's necessary to build and repair things, we move. And so it will create quite a, uh, quite a challenge to respond to the uh, uh, to the amount of things and materials that will be needed to
to um, to repair everything that's been damaged from these storms. Understood. Don, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate right. it. Great to be with you. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. Bye.